video we're going to be finding the zeros of a parabola from a graph and an equation. So the two types of problems you should be able to work by the end of this video are listed below. I'm going to give you a graph and you have to find the zeros or I'm going to give you an equation and you have to find the zeros. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first example. The zeros of a parabola are just the exact same thing as the x-intercepts. So the x-intercepts of a parabola are where the parabola or the u-shape so the u-shape right there or upside down u-shape is called a parabola and where it intersects the x-axis the blue hits the x-axis so this our x-axis this goes horizontally where the blue line hits the x-axis those are our zeros so we look at it we notice that the graph the blue line hits the x-axis at negative one and positive three so our zeros of the function are negative one and three our second problem we're going to look at are the zeros of the parabola but from the standpoint of an equation. So if you substitute a zero of a parabola into the equation for x, it makes the equation equal to zero. That's what why it's called a zero. So notice when you say the zeros of a parabola, you're not actually meaning the number zero. Not usually. Could be, but not usually you're usually meaning the numbers where it hits the x-axis. So let's take a look at our first answer choice and we're going to use our calculator and we're going to substitute negative 3 in for both x values and if we get 0 when we substitute negative 3 in for the x values in the right hand side of the equation we know we found a 0. Let's go ahead and do that. Negative in place of x I'm going to put a parenthesis and then negative 3 squared minus 2x. Notice this is a subtraction sign since I'm separating the x squared from the 2x. So minus or subtract 2x and I hit the subtraction button above the plus. Plus 15 and I made a mistake. I put 2x. I want to do parentheses. Instead of x I want to put what x is equal to and x is equal to negative 3. Plus 15. Press enter. I get 12. I should have gotten 0, not 12. So that means answer choice A cannot be the correct answer choice. Let's go ahead and cross off A from our list and let's check out B. So B says we're going to substitute negative 5 in for x. Well, I can just go ahead and go back up here, press enter on top of what I've already typed, and I'm going to change all those negative 3's into negative 5's. zero alright that means it might be the correct answer choice I also have to check positive three so again I'm going to scroll up using my right or my arrow button in the upper right hand corner of the calculator and press enter on top of the expression I've already typed out and then I'm gonna go over to where the parentheses are and change what's inside the parentheses to a positive three so go change the other one to a positive three zero great we found the two zeros of the parabola we could check the other ones as well but it should work out to where answer choice B is the only correct answer 